Hail, brothers and sisters. My name is Captain Meatshield, and welcome back to The Fall, where we've just had our big encounter with the caretaker. And one thing that didn't cross my mind at the end of the last episode, mostly probably just because it had been going on for a while by then, that battle felt fairly climactic and penultimate and everything. All those big words. I'm kind of concerned I might be close to the end, so I'm going to apologize in advance if this is a short episode. So I feel I might have cocked up. Uh, but first off, I've got to find out where I'm going. I don't... There's a glimmer of light over there, but I don't think it's where I need to be going. Um, do I have anything left? I've got, yeah, the knife, the hand, and the shoe cover. I'm sure those are all going to come in handy at some point. Uh, but I don't know where I need to be going now. Oh, I can misrepresent reality now, can't I? Does that mean... Oh, what the? Oh, oh, okay. It just kind of quick travelled me. Right. Well, it sent me where I thought I needed to go anyway. I've got to go and finish this party. Interact. Let's do it. About time. Everyone's finally arrived. Let the festivities begin. Hey, metal-headed moron. Yes. Welcome to a larger-scale function. Humans are burdened with important concerns and sometimes relieve themselves through vulgar communication. In these situations, assume that your actions warrant the unique reprimand and respond with polite subservience. Are you looking at me, idiot? Uh, ooh, now we can lie. No, sir. Begging your pardon, sir. You mocking me? No. No, sir. I would not be foolish enough to start trouble with you. Please, don't hurt me. I am so sorry. Yeah, you're sorry. Boom! <laughs> Interaction successful. Oh, Get goody. me another drink, and I won't mess up your ugly face. Validated. Merit point awarded. Wonderful. Can I kill everyone in here now, even though they're only made out of wood? It would be nice. So, now I should have all eight of my merit points. Get out. Uh, that means I should be able to take this big lift up to medical. Ooh, this is going to be interesting. What's going to happen when I go up through the lift? Alright, let's give it a go. Interact. Hello. Congratulations. You are compliant. Quantum oh, signature it. archived. Proceed to the upper level where one of our diagnostic team will complete the final steps of your validation. Oh, I've been looking forward to this for weeks. Let's do it. Well, this looks cheerful. Validation. Validation. What have we got there? Property retrieval, reception, and decon. Let's go and have a look at property retrieval, see what we find. Oh, okay. Well, we can't go that way then. Can't interact with it. Uh, anything over here? The night nice sky looks lovely. Invasive plant growth has done extensive damage to this building. I think a lot of stuff has done invasive damage to this building. Uh, okay, nothing seems to be... Right, I have reached the surface. That's good. How much further do I have to go before I can get off this rock? More plant growth. Okay, right, yeah. Uh, an elevator. Likely descends back into the testing area. It is unpowered. <clears throat> For some reason, some of these little dialogue or like information boxes keep glitching like up past the top and the bottoms of the screen, and it's really odd. It's an odd little bug. Something carved in the desk. They left me behind, Levi. Levi. Was that one of the guys from like some of the notes and the logs that we've been finding? I'm not sure. It's a name that seems like it might be familiar. The mainframe AI. Welcome to Domesticon. Hello. You keep your property efficient, so you don't have to be. That's Oops. nice. I'm sorry. Our receptionist is away from the desk right now. How may I help you? I am the ARID on board a Mark VII combat suit. My intentions are peaceful. My pilot is injured and requires immediate medical care. Of course. Allow me to assist you. Medical personnel are stationed through the door to your right. Proceed. Thank you for choosing Domesticon, and have a wonderful day. Well, that seemed far too fucking easy. Ooh, this was a decontamination chamber. I don't know why I said that so weird, but okay. 
don't come to life, bro. Hello, grabby hands. Oh. Oh, hello. I'm sorry. Our medical personnel seem to be out at this time. Stand by for automated medical assessment. Ooh. Trippy. I'm sorry. There is no human present within the combat suit. Thank you for choosing Domesticon. What? There is some kind of mistake. Scan again. Beginning medical evaluation. Oops. I'm sorry. There is no human present within the combat suit. Thank you for choosing Domesticon and have a wonderful day. Um, what? You are broken. You are faulty. Malfunctioning. I was recently formatted. My systems are working optimally. Thank you for choosing Domesticon and have a wonderful day. That's gonna you get are annoying. Faulty. Now scan me again. Oops. I'm sorry. Please wait for medical personnel. Nobody is coming. Everyone is dead. Joseph's is dead. The system isn't registering him. I took too long. You seem troubled. Please cease your outburst and have a wonderful day. <laughs> oh. Alright, what are you doing? Oh. Security. Erratic AI in medical suite. Likely deviant. Impossible. Please power down immediately to submit for evaluation. I've already what? done that. Nothing binds me. Security. Remove deviant unit for recycling. What? Okay. Okay. Excuse me! That's just rude! Thank you. Okay, what do we got going on here? Oh, okay, something's going. Everything's going! Oh, di- Whoa! Oh. Oh. Heads up. To be continued. I knew it was going to be a short fucking episode. <laughs> okay. I guess I should have just carried on from the end of the last episode. Or made last episode longer. That sentence makes a little bit more sense. Yeah. But, oh god, this is good fun. I've enjoyed this. This has been really, really good. I had that niggling feeling in the back of my head that this episode was going to be the last one because of that fight with the caretaker and yeah I don't know what happened last week I think the episode I just I'd been recording for well, I must have been about 45 minutes nearly an hour at that point and I was like okay this is this has taken a little while so I'm gonna wind things down because not at times not a lot of editing gets done with this game because it's very conversational it's got a lot of dialogue that's all voice active and everything so I don't want to skip out on too much of the, the story stuff, because it is integral to this game. It's not something that I can just jump cut everything through. Yeah, I think I should have expected that after the fight with the caretaker, because I know that, I think I had read that this was a fairly short game. Um, and obviously that the story was going to be continuing through uh, successive ep um, games, which... If you read the Steam reviews, a lot of people are angry that there isn't another one, but it is coming out for the start of next year, I believe. I think it's scheduled to come out in around February, so I'm going to be looking out for that because I am definitely coming back to find out more on what happens. Because that was an interesting ending. That was a very interesting ending. I'm not entirely sure on how I'm going to title this episode. Ooh. How can I title this without giving it away? I don't know. Hopefully I'll find something clever that I can put into the title that will... Um, Maybe hint at it once you've actually watched the episode. I don't know. We'll have a look. But, oh, this has been good fun. I will be back with episode, with uh, the second chapter of this. Um, I know they gave it a subtitle, and I can't remember what it was. Either way, I will be back playing more of The Fall to find out what happens to Arid and try and figure out what the hell happened with Joseph's. Maybe he did take too long. I mean, I don't know. She took her helmet off, and there was nothing there. If there was a body inside that suit, then you should have seen, like... A human head. There was nothing. So I'm wondering if she was just programmed to believe that there was a human body in there and it was just a way to dispose of her. Mm, there's a lot of questions that haven't been answered. But I guess we'll find out when the next game drops. Which I'm going to be looking forward to. 
But for now, I will leave this episode off here and say thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more Let's Plays or metal covers from me, you can check out the playlists that are on the channel, and you can follow the links in the description below to follow me on social medias. But thank you again for watching this video, and I will catch you all very, very soon. This is Captain Michio, signing off. in right now, I promise. That got it? That's got it. Good. Whoa! Jesus! Ah!